Thursday night, President Biden delivered his State of the Union address, addressing some of the nation's biggest issues and his plans to continue pushing Americans toward the future. After the speech, we had an opportunity to hear reaction from East Texas Congressman Nathaniel Moran. KTK's Ashlyn Anderson is here with the main takeaways. Ashlyn, what can you tell us? KC Tyler Congressman Nathaniel Moran says that he was, quote, shocked and appalled at the message the president gave to the American people. Always be president for all Americans. East Texas Congressman Nathaniel Moran was on the floor of the U.S. Capitol as President Joe Biden delivered his latest State of the Union. Unfortunately, it looks like we can expect much of what he's given to us the last three years. President Biden stuck to many of his campaign points, highlighting economy accomplishments. I'll restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land again. And calling out Supreme Court justices on overturning Roe v. Wade. But we need to stand firm and say, look, those lives are unique and they're special and they deserve protection from the very beginning point of conception. Texas Congressman Alexander Green from the Houston area says women's reproductive rights are in danger and that rulings like Alabama's IVF bill have to be stopped. You know, we've got to make sure that we don't allow this this kind of encroachment upon women and their rights to become the law of the land. When it comes to immigration, Moran says he didn't like how long it took the president to touch on domestic problems at the southern border. And the fact that he could take unilateral action today to solve this issue by restate, reinstating Remain in Mexico, by securing the border, by narrowing the, the asylum laws back to where they were under President uh, Trump. Texas Democratic Chair Gilberto Hinojosa says the topic will put Texas in the spotlight in the race to the White House. But unfortunately, politics has derailed this bill so far. Setting up eight months of back and forth until voters decide on President Joe Biden for another four years or elect his predecessor. Both President Biden and Donald Trump take their campaigns to Georgia this weekend. Election day is 241 days away. In studio, Ashlyn Anderson, K2K News.